Hey what's up guys and welcome to my new video. Today another how to hack your Minecraft tutorial and I want to show you how to install a hack client for the latest version of Minecraft. So we want to take a look at the Nodus 1.7.2 hack client. The Nodus client is one of the most famous clients out there and it has great features and it also works online. And now I want to show you how to install it. So the first thing you have to do is download the hack client. The link is in the description, just click on it and download it, it's 100% safe. And what you get is a Nodus 1.7.2 um, zip file. And now we have to extract the files out of the zip file. So if you have never done this before, if you don't know how, or if you don't have any unzipping program on your PC, you should definitely download WinRAR. The download link for WinRAR is also in the description. It's the second link, just download it and install this tool. Then your um, zip file should look like this. Or if it does not look like this, just do a right click on it, go to open. Uh, no, don't go to open, right click on it and go to open with and then choose WinRAR, okay? Then it should um, look like this. And um, when it looks like this, you just do a right click on it and go to extract here. Okay, now you should get a notice.json file and a notice.char file. And now you create a new folder here. Okay, then you call it notice. Be sure that um, it also has a capital N here on the front. And now drag and drop all the files here in. And now here you have your hack client, okay? And now we have to insert this into our Minecraft folder. To do this, we go to start and type percent app data percent and hit the enter button. Now we should be in the roaming folder. If you have Windows 8 and you don't have a um, toolbar here, then you press the Windows button on your keyboard and press the R button, Windows plus R, okay? So this should open up um, this run menu and then you also can type percent app data percent, hit the enter button and then you're in the roaming folder. So if that also does not work for you, just um, go to your main hard drive, um, users, your username, app data and then you should see the roaming folder, okay? So now you should be in your roaming folder and now you search for the .minecraft folder. So for me it's here on the top, .minecraft. Now just open it up. And now we go to versions. Here in versions just drag and drop your previously created notice folder. Okay. So here um, in the versions folder should be a new folder which is called notice. And in this folder there should be a notice.char and a notice.json file. Okay, now you have successfully installed your hack client. And now we can run Minecraft and create a new profile. So here we go. Okay, so now the new Minecraft launcher 1.2.8 has loaded up. And now we go to the left bottom corner where it should say new profile and click on it. And now rename your profile name to anything you want to. I will call it notice. Okay, and um, now we have to go down to use version. And here you go to use latest version. Just click on this little arrow here. And now check if you can see release notice. If you can't see release notice, you go to enable experimental um, development versions and click OK. And then go back to use version, click on this little arrow and go to snapshot notice, OK? Now you can save your profile and now just hit the play button and this should load up notice. So here we go. OK, so Minecraft 1.7.2 notice by Search Java has loaded up. And if we go now to options, we can see that Optifine is currently not included. So you may will have to wait until Optifine is included. And yeah, so now um, let's go to a multiplayer server and check out some features of this Notice Hack client. Okay guys, we're now in the game online on a multiplayer server. And on the left top corner, you can see that Notice is activated. And now let's open up the Hack Client menu by pressing the Y key on our keyboard. So this opens up the hack client menu and this is a drag and drop menu so you can drag and drop all the items here around the screen. So let me adjust them. We have here a text raider, world related hacks, combat related hacks, a client manager, movement related hacks, building related, related hacks, secret. Then we also have here coordinates and here we have enabled mods and a tab GUI. Okay, so maybe let's start with the coordinates. So here you can see your coordinates. You can also pin them here to your screen. If you press pin and you close the um, hack client menu by pressing the escape key, you can see um, the coordinates and they don't disappear. And now let's go back by pressing the um, Y key. 
and then here we have some um, secret things this is quite new if you expand this you have here all the tackles all the Sankita and our partners so you don't need this this is just some information and here we have the text radar so here you can switch between text um, radar and some um, the map radar and you can also pin this to your screen if you want to okay then we have world related hacks so here we have hacks like auto egg Nosewing, Cave Finder, Chest Finder, Day, ESP, Fulbright, No Render, No Slowdown, Notifications, Timer, Tracers, Wall Hack, Waypoints, Weather, and X Ray. And if you want to activate any of those hacks, just click on them and they will be activated. So, for instance, let's activate Day. So, if you click on Day, you can see under Enabled Mods that Day is activated. And the same goes for ESP. ESP draws boxes around players. And um, basically, this is very easy to enable and hack. You just have to click on them. And then, um, if you want to disable the mod, just click on it again. And if you don't know what he each hack does, I will upload a description into the description where you can um, check out um, what each hack does. Because if I would explain all features of this hack, this would take too many time. But if there's enough demand on it, I maybe could do another video. Okay, then we go to um, combat. Here we have combat related hacks like aimbot, force field and auto respawn. To enable them, just click on them like here on world. Then we have um, movement related hacks here. Here we have auto walk, derp, fly, free cam, high jump, no fall, sneak, spider, sprint, step, water walking. Basically um, all the features here were also in the old version of Nodos. Then we have building related hacks like auto sign, auto tool, auto mine, fast break, fast place, build and nuker. Quite new is this client manager here in the middle. So let's extend this. And here we have options. So if we go to options, here you can adjust the colors if you want to, colors of the ESP. Then here we have message stacking, so you can activate it, just click at this little box here. Here you can also activate or uh, toggle on or toggle off the clickable GUI. The same goes here for the tab GUI, coordinates, enabled mods, radar and rear view. And also here, here we have client binds. So here you can adjust the keys. So if you don't want to press the Y key to open up the GUI, just assign it to any other key you want to. The same goes for um, console, up, down, expand, collapse or enter. So I will just, um, um, here you can just um, edit those client binds here. Okay, so let's close this. Um, then um, we also have some other stuff here in this client manager. We also have a bind editor. If you open this up, you can adjust key binds. Just um, enter a new key you want to have as a key bind. So let's try this here and go to add. And then you have a new key to assign key binds to. Okay, then we can go um, to the tab editor. So here you can um, customize the tab GUI here. Then we also have the same for, okay, no, we have the same for the click editor. Here you can add um, some other categories and customize the clickable GUI. Okay, then we also have a X-ray editor. So here you can choose the blocks you want to see in X-ray mode. So if you also want to see, I don't know, water in X-ray mode, then just then you can just click on water. Okay, so let's close this. Then we also have about, so this just um, shows you some information about the, the hack client. Okay, and then we have this tab GUI here. So you can go through the tab GUI with your um, arrow up or arrow down key, or you can just customize the keys um, here. If we go to bind editor, no, it's not bind editor. We have to go to, uh, where was it? I think options and client binds. And here you can adjust the keys you have to use to go through this tab GUI. Um, by default, it's on your up and down key on your keyboard. Okay, so um, basically we went through all those features here. So this is um, Nodos for 1.7.2. If you don't know um, which hack does what, you can just check out my, um, my text file here in the description, which will show you what each hack does. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions on this hack client, just leave your comment under this video. I will try to reply as soon as possible. And as always, thanks for watching and see you again in my next videos. Bye.